What's going on, everybody? You see a Jaguar back here with GenJag.com, and what a night, man. Uh, the NFL draft is just like Christmas in April. Uh, thank you guys all for joining my live stream last night. I had an absolute blast. You know, there was all kinds of trades going on with all different quarterbacks falling on the board. Uh, you had all kinds of guys falling. But, you know, when it comes to the Jaguars, uh, very, very surprising pick. You know, everyone thought we are going to be going like tight end you know, offensive line, maybe even like wide receiver, potentially quarterback or running back. Nobody really saw defense coming. And the Jaguars actually drafted Taven Bryan out of the University of Florida, uh, making that the second University of Florida player we drafted in the first round in the last four years, uh, with Dante Fowler being drafted in the first round back in 2015. Now, this is a very, very surprising pick just because the Jaguars are obviously extremely stacked at defensive line. Uh, you know, in the interior of the off or defensive line, you have guys like uh, Avery Jones, Marcel Darius, Malik Jackson, all really high money guys. Uh, you also have like Clayus Campbell, Dante Fowler Jr., uh, and you have uh, Yannick Ngakwe, all guys on the defensive end position, Dewan Smoot as well. So this is just, uh, you know, with but when it comes to um, the defensive line, I mean, you can never really have enough defensive linemen. Uh, and we're going to have to eventually replace some of these more expensive guys just because we can't pay everybody. Uh, now, when it comes to Taven Bryan, uh, I'll be honest with you, I really don't know too, too much about him. He's not really someone that I scouted much coming into uh, the draft just because I didn't think that we were going to be going you know, defensive tackle. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like this pick, um, but I do give the Jaguars uh, coaching staff credit in like, the scouting department just because... Um, instead of going and reaching for a need, they truly got the best player on their board. And uh, Taven Bryan, you know, I'm hearing a lot of different stuff about comparing him kind of to like J.J. Watt kind of upside. Um, I'm interested to kind of see, I'm really going to go start digging into his film just to kind of see like what stands out. But, you know, I hear he has like a good get off. Um, you know, I hear a lot of kind of good things about like his potential and what he could turn into. Um, so I'm not super, super uh, upset with the pick. I was honestly very surprised about it. Um, but you know, I think he can be a very uh, productive player for the Jaguars, and it'll be interesting to kind of see what we do with our high money guys. Uh, Marcel Darius, Avery Jones, Malik Jackson—they're all very, very expensive guys. So you know, could we do a contract restructure? Uh, you know, could one of them just full out, all out get cut? Uh, you know, I mean, we'll see. But you know, if any of them are the odd man out, I would probably say Marcel Darius. I know a lot of people were kind of opposed to that when I kind of threw it out there, but. Um, I think it's a very real possibility just because we're going to have to free up some money soon to be able to pay, you know, guys in the future like Yannick Ngakwe, you know, Miles Jack. Uh, you know, you also have Jalen Ramsey, obviously going to be the richest cornerback in the NFL pretty soon. So, uh, I mean, the NFL, you got to uh, be able to, you know, draft these guys to, re to replace the more expensive guys. And the Jaguars truly got uh, the most, the highest kind of player that was available on their board. So, you know, I give the Jags kind of credit for this. Now, I just I just don't know too much about Taven Bryan. You know, I'm really interested to kind of dig uh, into his tape just to kind of see what I see. Uh, you know, he's kind of being claimed as a one-year wonder, kind of, you know, sitting behind guys like Caleb Brantley um, his first couple years at Florida. Um, he's a guy who's from Wyoming, actually, went down to Florida, and now he's about an hour and a half away going to Jacksonville. So, you know, I'm not, I'm definitely not really upset with this pick. It was just very, very surprising, and... Uh, you know, I mean, they, you, you're going to have some, you're going to get a really good pick, I think, in the second round. And, you know, my dream scenario is if a Tyrell Crosby, the offensive tackle from Oregon, were to potentially fall there, um, I think he'd be a tremendous grab for the Jaguars. Uh, um, you know, he's a guy who didn't let up really any, any sacks last year. Um, he's, you know, just a road grading kind of offensive lineman. I think that he could be just a very good, um, you know, developmental player for the Jaguars for years to come. Now, uh, some other positions, I mean, wide receiver, not many wide receivers were going. Obviously, Calvin Ridley and like DJ Moore were off the board, but, you know, also tied in, only Hayden Hurst went. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting, man, just kind of see what the Jaguars do tonight. They got two picks, um, you know, in the rounds two, or they got two two picks tonight, basically in rounds one around two and one around three, and we're going to get a really good player. I mean, there's all kinds of really good players still available in this draft, so, you know, when it comes to Tame and Brian, you know, I'm not upset about it. You know, I think it was, uh, you know, I really credit Tom Coughlin and all of them for just getting the best available player on their board. You know, unlike in years past where we have to really draft a guy first round and be able to go in there and start right away and get immediate impact. We don't really need this out of this guy. So, you know, if he can turn into a J.J. Watt, like a lot of people were saying, then man, uh, what a great investment. But, 
you know, we'll see kind of what he has to offer. Um, I don't want people throwing out in the comments section the, the whole Derek Harvey thing or drafting Florida players or bust just because this is totally unrelated. You know what I mean? So we'll see how this guy does. Let's give him a chance. So, um, yeah, with all that said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is UC at Jaguar with GenJag.com, and I'm out.